Sikandar and those wishing to fight. On the 6th of August 1945, a USB-29 Enola Gay drops an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. The explosion and fire claims 80,000 lives. For those in favor of peace, there is no greater argument for surrender. And for those in favor of war, it firms their resolve to fight on. On August the 8th, Russia declares war on Japan and launches an immediate offensive in Manchuria. The Japanese are overwhelmed by the speed and numbers of the advancing Russian forces. On the 9th, the Supreme War Council are in audience with the Emperor discussing the Russian attack in the Potsdam Declaration when a second bomb is dropped on Nagasaki. The US calls on Japan once again to surrender or be faced with total destruction. The threat of destruction is backed up by the permanent presence of ships and aircraft off the Japanese coast. No decisive strike, no amount of sacrifice, no heaven-sent winds will reverse the fortunes now. On the 14th of August, it is announced that the Emperor will make a public broadcast at noon the next day. Some at the War Ministry, anticipating an announcement of surrender, attempt to coup in a bid to prevent the Emperor from making his broadcast, but their efforts are foiled by the palace guards. On the morning of the 15th, US planes launch another attack against targets on the Japanese mainland. Admiral Yugaki announces that he will take part in the day's kamikaze sortie against the US ships. Yugaki rejects appeals from his fellow officers to remain behind, insisting that he may choose the hour and manner of his own death. At noon, the Emperor announces the Japanese surrender, and Admiral Yugaki takes off to lead the last of the kamikazes to glory. A few hours later, Yugaki sends his final radio message. I alone am to blame for our failure to defend the homeland and destroy the arrogant enemy. The valiant efforts of all officers and men of my command during the past six months have been greatly appreciated. I am going to make an attack at Okinawa where my men have fallen like cherry blossoms. There I will crash into and destroy the conceited enemy in the true spirit of Bushido with firm conviction and faith in the eternity of Imperial Japan. I trust that the members of all units under my command will understand my motives, will overcome all hardships of the future, and will strive for the reconstruction of our great homeland that it may survive forever. His message ends, Tenno Haika, Banzai. In the evening, as Admiral Yugaki's spirit wings its way to the Yasukuni Shrine, Admiral Onishi, mastermind of the Kamikazes who sought to defend the shores of Japan through sacrifice, joins with his ancestors, honor intact, exiting the world by his own hand. <laughs>